going on? Pat McLaughlin here from DrumlineChops.com and in this lesson I'm going to teach you how to play flam accents. All right? Not only am I going to teach you how to play flam accents, I'm also going to teach you the number one mistake that people make when they play flam accents and how you can avoid it. All right? So make sure you check out this video and learn how to play some flam accents. Alright, so flam accents are pretty standard flam rudiments and they're really, really good for you to know, especially so that you can start playing things like flam drags, cheese, and flam fives. All right? So if you want to start playing those rudiments, you got to start with flam accents. All right? So all flam accents are, are groupings of three notes with an accent and a flam on the first note of those groupings. All right. Now, since triplets are naturally a grouping of three notes, you'll frequently see flam accents written in triplet form. However, please note that you can also see flam accents written as eighth notes, sixteenth notes, quintuplets, sextuplets, right? Whatever the case may be, all you're looking for is groupings of three notes with accents and flams on the downbeat, right? That's what makes a flam accent, okay? So, the easiest way to teach this is to actually just play accented triplets straight up, right? Which sounds like this. All right? Now, to make that into flam accents, all you do is add a grace note to the downbeat or to the accent, right? So it sounds like this. Okay? So if you play a flam accent off of your right hand, you'll have an accented flam on the right hand, followed by a left tap, and then a right tap. Okay, all together, a right-handed flam accent sounds like this. If you play a flam accent off the left hand, you'll start with a left-hand accented flam, followed by a right tap, and then a left tap. So all together, a left-handed flam accent sounds like this. Okay, then you put them back to back, and they sound like this. So those are flam accents. Now, the number one mistake that people make when they play flam accents is they let the flam affect the underlying rhythm, right? So when they go to play them, the rhythm underneath gets messed up and it sounds like this. Right? So the flam placement and the sticking is all correct in that case, but the underlying rhythm is very jagged or too rounded out or uh, it fluctuates from, from note to note, right? You want to make sure that when you play flam accents, the underlying rhythm is consistent and the same throughout the entire rudiment, right? And the base of that boils down to just triplet taps, right? So a really great exercise to prevent this number one mistake is to play one measure of triplet taps followed by one measure of accented triplets followed by one measure of flam accents. All right, so it's a three measure exercise. It's very simple, uh, but it gets you to focus on the underlying rhythm and make sure that that stays consistent no matter which uh, grouping you're playing, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you so you get an idea as to what it sounds like. Remember, again, it's one measure of triplet taps, one measure of accented triplets, and then one measure of flam accents. Sounds like this. Alright, so that's a great exercise to get you focusing on that underlying rhythm and ensuring that nothing changes to the rhythm when you add the accents in and then when you add the uh, grace notes in for the flams. All right? So, I hope that this video helped you. I hope that it taught you A, what flam accents are, and B, how to prevent you from playing or from making the number one mistake that people make when they play flam accents. All right? Thanks so much for checking out this video. Uh, if you want more, head on over to drumlinechops.com, and over there you'll find a ton of videos and articles that'll help you improve your rudimental drumming. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.